All right, we begin by breathing deeply. And as we breathe deeply, you allow yourself, if you will, to put your feet flat on the floor for this moment. And as you put your feet flat on the floor for this moment, you allow yourself to feel in some ways. We want you to feel for the moment like you are mashing grapes with your feet. Of course, you don't have to move your feet in that way. We just want you to feel, oh, I'm, I'm mashing grapes because I want to get the nectar out of the grape. I, I don't need the skin anymore. I don't need the seed right now. I don't need the flesh. I want to get that flow of that energy that comes from that grape. So we want you to feel that literally all of us are sitting together. There's this huge vat of purple balls, beautiful purple balls, and also some green balls. And so we just allow ourselves to feel that we're moving our feet, kind of like cats or kittens. They move their feet. They move a little bit gently, a little bit gently back and forth. Now, why they do that is they're trying to recall or remember when they were getting the nectar from their mother, the milk from their mother. So that little movement that they do, and they often do it throughout their lives, is they're gently pushing on the mother's gland, the mammary glands, to receive their nourishment. So what we want to do with this image of, of us working together to mash these balls of purple light and these balls of green light, purple light representing that which is the crown chakra, green light representing that which is the heart chakra. And of course, you've probably seen a lot of the green the green grapes, which are not rich emerald green, but rather they're kind of a really light green. And that's a combination of the green with white. And then sometimes they're a little bit darker green. And that can often be a combination of the green with the solar plexus, which is the golden energy. So these bowls of purple and green represent your crown chakra, your heart chakra, Yes, solar plexus chakra and the Christ consciousness or the purified field of unconditional love, which is the Christ consciousness. So now you may say, oh, why am I trampling on those higher energy fields in my body? You're not. You're like a little kitten. You're moving your feet back and forth saying, I really want this relationship of how my solar plexus, my heart, my crown, and that unconditional love nourishes me how it nourishes me, the person here growing. We're all growing right now. Very intense growth happening in the species of humanity, no matter who it is, because the fields of energy are getting much more potentized now. So as you do this, we just feel together, we're in this big vat together and rather be intense with our minds or stay in the chaos of our minds or the brambles of our hearts. We are very much like the people in Italy when they are smashed and we're just laughing and we just see ourselves joyfully being here, joyfully being here, relishing the fact that we get to easily and effortlessly do a little bit of work to receive an abundance of nourishment. And so really bring a smile to your heart with this meditation. As you say, I open my emotional body. I bring the frequency of joy to my heart chakra and it permeates through many, many of the shells that have been hiding that frequency of joy so that those shells may dematerialize. And again, some of you here in the room have actually been in the Mediterranean, have lived in those times. We're dependent on that wine. We're dependent on those grapes for your nourishment, for your drink. Not nourishment to get drunk on it, but nourishment to be soothed by it, to be fed by it, to be, have the thirst quenched from it. 
And so some of you would realize in this as you begin to feel this energy that you have done this before. And of course, that level of culmination where you were able to even get to the point where you can do the grapes. It is hard work. And so you almost have to make it a joyful experience because it's a lot of work to harvest grapes. It's a lot of work to get them together. And this is why it's so good when we work in group together because we can work together in the great joy of turning the, our individual experiences through our power chakra, our heart chakra, and our crown chakra to the Christ consciousness, which is unconditionally loving, and therefore it unifies us. That is really the Christ consciousness. It unifies us. So although we have those egos and we have these individual lives and we have these ideas of ourselves and we have these problems, we are unified in the frequency of white light. And so as you do this, stretch your mind up much higher than the day-to-day -day life that we were all sharing here at the beginning. Stretch your mind up much higher than the day-to-day -day life to that white plane of consciousness, to the crystalline diamond that is in such a high dimension of consciousness. And yet right here, right now, you are able to perceive it and let it flood into your mind. Let it flood with all the supernal light that it offers into your consciousness and you allow yourself to say, I open my mental body. I stretch my consciousness as I lift my mental body to the higher spectrum which coexist with the lower mind. And through this stretching, I am able to begin to let go many of the mental labyrinths that my mind keeps me running around in. This is a big stretch. It's like being willing to be the higher mind, which is the receptacle of this very high level of supernal light, encoded within unconditional love, encoded with the Christ itself that you all are at some level of consciousness, letting those codes come down to that higher mind and then silencing the, the conundrum that the lower mind, the egoic mind, that the unconscious energies of the mental body have, which can always keep you tethered to this labyrinth of trying to get out of the maze. So you're very aware that that game board, because it's very much like that, it's a game board is there and you're very much aware that sometimes you doesn't matter how much you think you've meditated you can get triggered into that old labyrinth which you feel i don't know how to get out of this situation but now you don't think so much about that you just want to receive that higher christed consciousness again a consciousness of your own self at a high 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 level where we are all unified in loving presence. And for a moment, just allow yourself to feel that unification, that loving flood of light coming into your higher mind. And then as we go back to the original meditation where we are still pulsing our feet with the, the grapes, with the crown chakra, with the heart chakra, with the solar plexus chakra, we begin to feel that that Christed white diamond conscious light is kind of precipitating over us. It's falling over us and it's washing over us and it's also washing through that crown chakra. And so you let yourself feel your crown chakra is getting bigger and bigger. It appears like it's dilating. And again, we all know the term of dilation because quite often in a natural birth process, that is what a woman has to do. She has to dilate 
to let the energy out of her, the form out of her. So now you're dilating your crown chakra. You're letting it get bigger. You're not worried so much about the individual body. You're letting your crown chakra get bigger to let this in flooding light down into your own crown chakra. And for a moment, we just sit here and let that light flood into your crown. And of course, as you do, you know the higher self is swirling like a turbine up there in another dimensionality. And yet your own organism, your own elemental body is able to perceive this energy turbine, which is your soul, which is the receptor of universal mind. And now you feel that that line is connected and you can feel that white line coming down to your crown. And now you feel that the crown now begins dispensing like a shower head. It's just letting drops of this beautiful white consciousness to come down through your throat, down to your transpersonal chakra, and down into your heart first. And you allow yourself to feel the whole time you're really wanting to kind of milk those chakras. You want them to let go of the stuff that has stopped you from receiving these calibrations before. And so as it comes down to your heart, you remember it is the vibration of joy that allows your heart to open. And you bring the energy of joy to your heart chakra to your emotional body and the very vibration of joy is an affirmation that you absolutely know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are this living light so let that truth come to your heart now And now from your heart, just as we have the image of the grapes being stomped to get the nectar, and that nectar's coming from the crown, from the heart, and from the solar plexus, we now want you to feel that the heart, as an act, and your emotional body, as an act of service to your daily life, is now dispensing this white light to your solar plexus. And again, it's just like a beautiful bead of nectar coming to the power chakra. Because the power chakra is like the archive of everything that happened to you this life that was not empowered. And the crown chakra is the archive and the Ajna Center is the archive and the heart is the archive of everything that's happened to you that is of power. So you realize now the heart, your own heart, your own emotional body as an act of service and love to you is dropping beads of nectar to the solar plexus and you allow yourself to really feel that energy coming to any place that feels tight in that solar plexus. As you say to yourself, I open my physical body. I receive the deep, unconditional love that my soul has for me. I willingly let go of my defenses that I have carried about my fears of lack of love.
And with this now, you feel that kind of solar plex is a good way to look at it. It's if you're making a cake or you've got some batter and you're supposed to add some kind of liquid to it, but you can't add it all at once. You just let begin to feel that this white nectar is dropping into the power chakra. Not only the empowerment that you might feel through this alignment, but also to all those dark little corners, all those little memories, all those little seeds of negativity that have been built over lifetimes. And you just know that you're blending now this true unconditional love for yourself to yourself. And now you just return your consciousness to your feet, kind of pulsing in those balls of light, basically asking those chakras to open a lot more now so that you have the gifts that the power chakra, the gifts that the heart chakra and the gifts that the crown chakra have for you. And with this, you understand you have also the anchors for you to be much more conscious of the light body that you already have developed. So with this, you begin to see this kind of ball of light or egg of light around you and you realize it is woven together out of this kind of gold and white energy. And it's, it's a netting, as it were, not to bind you, but to afford you support as you dismantle anything that is not in service to this unconditional love. Anything that has impeded you from being unconditionally loving with yourself. And of course, once you can be unconditionally loving with yourself, you are much more able to be unconditionally loving with others. And as you see this beautiful, it's like a Fabergé egg, even the finest Fabergé egg in the world with all its jewels is nothing compared to your own etheric body. It's today we're working with diamond white light and golden white light woven together like gossamer of the finest, finest fiber. And you begin to understand that this travels with you all the time. It is just you turn inward to the lower story of the animal nature, the elemental nature, rather than stay in the reception of the transmission that is 24-7 every day of your life available. And these are the chakras, the crown, the heart and the solar plexus, that if you root this consciousness in here, you will be able to stabilize in this loving presence that you are, while you dismantle those issues in the second chakra and the first chakra, the primal issues of survival, the primal issues of creativity, the primal issues of animal nature, the primal issues of hate, the primal issues of selfishness. All of these things are in the second and first chakra. And now with this new stabilization, you are then able to willingly open those second chakras and first chakras more. Not simply so you can dig through your trunk of memories of all the things that happened bad or good, but so you can bring that diamond light down through those chakras. Even if a tiny strand down through the perineum between the vaginal opening and the anus or between the testes and the anus. And then you let that beautiful line of light go down to this vat of beautiful energy that we're working together at a soul level. You let that line of energy go down through the surface of the earth where so much takes place 
And right now what's happening on the surface of the earth is everyone is having to see rubbish. It's, it's the plastic that won't go away. It's, it's the, the, the trash that won't go away. It happens every now and then in a big time of earth changes where like the winds come and all of a sudden you never knew there was so much pollution created by human beings, created by industry. So now these earth changes are coming. And so now you realize I choose this alignment of unconditional love to work through the second and first chakra. So I can stabilize this unconditional love into the earth as she lifts out of the shell, the carcass of the current civilization that is occurring. And again, the ego might get scared and go, well, I don't want to stop the civilization that's occurring because it might mean I don't exist. Well, you already know you exist. You are that line of white light. And this body that you walk in and this energy that you walk in, this etheric that you walk in, as you say, I open my etheric body, I recognize the support the love, the tools, the frequency that comes from that light body while I am transforming the lower nature of my humanity, the elemental nature to the universal me. That transformation is happening now on this earth. And it's happening in consciousness, but it's also happening in the cellular matrix of your body. So now, before we finish this meditation, we want you to see yourself now sending that same beam of light that you're sending down to Mother Earth. That same beam of light that you're sending down to Mother Earth, we want you to see it coming through the nucleus of every cell in your body we want you to see every cell in your body being that energy field we just created this beautiful unconditional love coming from the christed consciousness down through the ethers down through the higher mind down through the crown down through the heart down through the solar plexus and from here you send it out to every cell in your body Letting the nucleus of the cell know we are aligning to this frequency now. The patterns, the genetics, the gunk that is not, is not aligning to that, I ask the body to transform, transmute, and release. And this new vibration is going to vibrate our alignment into the elemental me while the universal me, us, nourishes us through this metamorphosis that we're all doing. And we go from here back to the line of energy that you might have eked out through those lower chakras into the crust of the earth. For a moment, we just stop at the crust of the earth. And we literally see as if we are one of those satellites looking at everything on the earth. All of it. Not excluding any of it. All of it. The troughs, the sickness, the stories, all of it. Like convoluted labyrinths. The same thing for the planet. Human beings have created a huge egoic labyrinth around the crust of the earth. But as you bring that consciousness through that and don't stop there. But rather move into the earth and her body of consciousness. Move down to the center of the earth. Even they've released this week that the center of the earth the ball of iron, the magnet that is in the center of the earth has changed directions. 
But even beyond that magnet, where science thinks they found it, you begin to perceive in the center of the earth a diamond matrix, a diamond-shaped matrix with the complete blueprint for this planet. And you align all the way through the crust, through the stories, through the shenanigans, into the earth, beyond the crystals, beyond the water stores, down into the very center of what people think is the solid earth, but you realize it's not solid any more than you are. The earth also has an etheric body. And the earth also has a higher consciousness. And the earth also has a Christed consciousness. And this is the diamond where all of those meet. So for in this moment, just feel that you are in the center of that diamond, in the center of the earth, with the pure unconditional love that a planetary consciousness has for all the people on the planet. Doesn't matter what color they are. Doesn't matter what their choices are. Doesn't matter what consciousness they are. Where this light, this unconditional love to allow a species to evolve into higher states from which they came. So feel you were at the center of this diamond matrix of her body. Not just your own now. And feel that vibration. Bring that vibration through your chakras. Bring that vibration to your crown. Bring that vibration to your heart. Bring it to your solar plexus. And then bring that vibration to all that gunk you think you have to hide inside your second chakra or first chakra. All the survival energy that sometimes unconsciously you have operated from, 